Hello all you amazing and wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, I stand alone gaming, and today we're going to be doing the Cloister of Trials in Bevel, painting Bahamut, and finishing the uh, Destruction Sphere. So first things first, push that into the little pedestal area there, gives you a little cutscene, takes you down into the Cloister itself, now it gives you a little tutorial on how to move your arrows. So on my controller, it'll be the A button. On PlayStation, it'll be X. On the PC will be something else. First things first, you want to make this first left. Go ahead, hop on to here. Grab this little sphere. You can either put it into your pedestal or just push the pedestal out. Doesn't really matter at this point. And what we want to do is turn ourselves around. Spam the button, so it'll be easier. And now we want to make another left, basically the opposite side of where we just picked up this sphere. Now, once you're in this location, all you got to do is place the sphere in your hand into the pedestal on the wall. It will open up another location. There's three levels. This is the second level that it's showing us now, and we opened up a pathway into the second level. So push this back out. Now you can either fall off the edge and we'll reset, or you can turn around. I like to turn around. And now we want to go all the way back to the second glyph on our screen now and make a left. Like so it leads us down to the second floor. Now we want to make another left. So now that you made this left, all you have to do is go to the second glyph, make a right. Like so, sometimes it's easier if you spam the button. I'm gonna say that a few times because it's a lot easier, trust me. So now that we are here, you want to go ahead and Pick up this glyph sphere. Carry it with you. Push this pedestal back out. And I'll bring you back out to the second floor. Now you just want to make another right here. Now, once you make this right, you'll be in this location. Now you want to place the glyph sphere into the pedestal in front of you. Take out your bevel sphere. Place that in the pedestal on the wall. Take out this sphere. Glyph sphere. Put it on the back wall here. And this unlocks your destruction sphere. Now you go ahead and pick this up. Place it into your pedestal. Pick this one up. Place it into the pedestal. Go ahead and push this back out. Now again, you want to go back to the second glyph. So go ahead and go down the second path, all the way down to the second glyph, and you want to make that right. Now once you make that right, you want to place the destruction sphere where the glyph sphere used to be. Now, essentially, you're done with the destruction sphere. So how you obtain the treasure is a little bit of an extra step. So you push this back out. We will travel all the way off the second level. 
to the end here. Travel yourself all the way off. Now that you're here, we go down to the third floor. Now, as you're traveling down, goes down a little bit further and there is another spear to pick up. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up. But at this point, you should have two the bell spheres. Put them both into your pedestal. So now that you made it up back to the second floor, all we have to do is make a right, go to the first glyph that we can choose, and make a second right. Bam the button, it's a little bit easier. Now that we are in this location, it drops you off right here. All you have to do is continue pushing it along. We'll push it a little bit more. And this takes us to the ending. With that being said, there is an item to get right before the end, so I will show you how to do that. Make sure before you go up that you have both your Bevel Spheres ready to go. Now that we are up here, take one of your spheres. Head up here, place your sphere in here. The reason you need two Bevel the Bell Spheres is one is to activate this. The other is to activate the actual pedestal. So go ahead and grab this item first. You get an HP sphere. Treasure chest disappears. You can step on this, brings the pedestal forward. You now press the pedestal or push the pedestal into this area. And you can get the secondary bonus item. the Night Lance, which is for Kamari. Now once you get back through, that is the end of the Bevel Cloister of Trials. And you're now the proud owner of a Bahamut. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in any way, please leave a like. Inside? And if you want to see more content like this or similar to this, then please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. But with that being said, take care. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. You can stuff your taboos!